we'll simplify this question first let's assume all variables represent non-negative real numbers and we'll write our first step which is 4 times square root of 98 a square b c power 5 over 20 times b power 5 times c power 3 we wrote down the question here so it's easier to strike out those b's and c's and now we have 4 times square root of we are left with 98 a square and c square over 20 b power 4 in our next step we'll write 4 times we'll separate the square root between the numerator and denominator so that's 4 times square root of we can spread 98 to 49 times 2 times we have a square times c square over square root of we can write 20 as 4 times 5 and we also have b power 4 and yeah let's write 4 times we'll separate square root between all those terms now so let's write square root of 49 as 7 square times square root of 2 times square root of a square times square root of c square over square root of 4 which is 2 square times square root of 5 times square root of we can write b power 4 as b square whole square now we have 4 times we'll strike out square and square root so we are left with 7 times root 2 times since it's a variable we'll put that under modulus of a times modulus of c over 2 times root 5 times we'll put this under modulus so that's modulus of b square equals we are now left with 14 root 2 times a c over root 5 b square that's our final answer.